Okay, now the world is changing its frequency and its vibration. It's already doing it. You know things are speeding up. Everybody knows that. Time is speeding up. Everything is speeding up. And the earth itself has a tone. I've heard this tone. It's recorded from satellites in space. The earth has a tone, a frequency. That tone has changed and it is speeded up. They, scientists know this, it's very definite, that this is definitely have proof that it's changing. The frequencies and vibrations of the earth are changing. As I said a while ago about dimensions, we're getting ready to shift into a totally new dimension. We have to, the earth has got to the point where they can't do anything else to help it. It just, we're just destroying so much here that it's gonna to have to be a separation to move into the new frequency. And they said, the entire universe is watching. This is the greatest show on earth because it has never happened in the history of the universes before that an entire planet will make the shift at one time. Now, you know, in the Bible, it always talks about the new heaven and the new earth. I believe John of Pathos, when he had that vision, he was seeing a real vision. He didn't realize it was going to be thousands of years in the future. This is what he meant by the new heaven and the new earth and the old is got done away with and the new is going to be taking over. But it is changing, the frequencies are changing, we're shifting already. You can feel it in your own bodies. I don't know if you felt it yet or not. A lot of people are having physical ailments. They're going to the doctors. The doctors don't, can't find anything wrong with them because it's not anything that they've ever experienced before. They have said the doctors are using the old information that they have been taught. They are not aware of what is really happening to the bodies now. Our DNA is being changed. The vibration rate is being changed, and we are shifting with the planet. We have to. It can't happen suddenly because the planet, the body wouldn't be able to handle it. Handle it. it has to happen gradually, little at a time. And when it makes these little jumps, people are experiencing physical problems. They can be heart palpitations, blood pressure, tiredness, dizziness, muscle aches and pains, all these lots of different things that I've heard, but when they go to the doctor, they can't find anything wrong because it's nothing physical that they can put their, hand, their finger on. But our DNA is being changed and the ETs have been helping a lot with this. We're going to be at the point where we're not going to be sick anymore. And we will be at the point where we will never die. We are actually moving into what is called the thousand years of peace in the Bible. The whole earth is going to be totally different. And there's going to be many left behind. Just like the Bible says, many are left behind. Because they can't change their frequency and vibration quick enough to move with it. They have to be working on it now or you're not going to move. You'll be stuck with the old earth. The ones that are deep into the negativity, they said they will be allowed to live out their lives on the old earth. But when they die, they will not come back to the new earth because the new earth will have no negativity. They will be kept, they will be sent to another planet that is still experiencing negativity so they can work it out. Some of them, they're just, no hope for them because it's gone too far. They're too loaded down, steeped with all of these karma from past lives and they, they can't get out of it. But those of you who have an idea what's happening are already making the first step to move into the new earth. Because they've said, you really don't want to be here when the worst happens. They said, if you think Katrina was bad, Imagine that happening all over the world in cities everywhere. Chaos, utter chaos and utter confusion. And people aren't going to understand. They're going to be so uh, confused and frightened 
They said, we have to be the voices of reason. We have to be the ones that know what is happening so we can be calm in the midst of the storm. And that's what a lot of these people are coming in now. The ones who are so much into the negativity, they're not going to be able to help or be gotten off out of here so that the new group can help to turn everything around. <clears throat> you might think some of this sounds bad, but <clears throat> it is the evolution of the earth. This is what's happening. You can't stop it. It is going. Um, main things that will hold people back from ascending and going into the new earth is fear. We're so steeped in fear. A lot of it is coming from the government. You know that. They said it'd be better off if you don't watch TV, don't watch the news, don't get caught up in the illusion. Because the more you hear about all the violence and all the bad things that are happening, amplifies it. Better off if you just didn't focus on that at all. But that, I said, do you mean uh, by fear, then do you mean the wars and things? They said, yes, the government with the wars and also with the diseases that they are trying to create. You keep the population in fear, then you can control it. And that's what a lot of this has to do with the drugs. And you want well, to get your TV. They try to convince you you have to take a pill for everything. And they said these diseases they want you to have shots for, they do not exist, but it's all a way to promote fear. You get the population afraid enough, you can make them do anything. And you know this has been happening since 9-11. All of these new laws coming into effect that would never have happened before, all having to do with fear. And it's like, oh, great father, protect me. And you let them do anything. But they said, you're going to have to start thinking for yourself. We are, um, have access now to instantaneous information on the, on the computers, much more than we ever had in the past. You can have information that you would know is real. You read these things, you ask questions, make up your own mind. Don't believe what everybody is telling you. Think for yourself. Don't let fear rule your life, because if you're afraid, if fear is holding you back, you're not going to progress as we go into the new earth. And it's happening. Our vibrations are increasing. There's no way to hold it back. But some will be left behind because they can't change quick enough. <clears throat>